Today we're going to look at different types of PVA for applications and how we can use them with some of Jurassic's PVA friendly products consisting of plugs and additives. So let's have a look. Another method that's really useful when you're using PVA and you're using half baits or full baits is a stringer. Here we've got PVA string available from the tackle shop. Take a length, doesn't really matter how long, just sensible. Just give you plenty of room to work. Let's start making your stringer. Now I'm, I've gone for halves here. Some people do them back to back, some people do them whole baits. It all depends really again, preference. Here we're just gonna have a look at the principle of it. So, get your string, double it over, leave yourself a little bit. On she goes, we'll just start threading on. Build up five or six. Always try and go for an equal number just for the sake of it's going to hang the same with half each side. If you go for an odd number, it might not sit perfect, it'll still do its job, but when you're casting a bit further out, it can cause a bit of spin. Now, it can cause a bit of spin. So, get the rest of these on here. Now, to seal and secure the ends, what I do is something really simple. Just go back through the bit, perpendicular. So that's one end done. I'm going to do the other end. Sorted. I'm going to tag, trim the tag ends. There we go. Nice stringer. Perfect. Now let's have a look at putting an up bit on there. So, time to make an up bit. We've got a stringer here from before. Now, I'm going to form an up bait. I'm going to match this up exactly. So I'm going to take three boilies back to back. I say back to back, but one on one way. So basically, boilies go on like this. It can be any way, there's nothing in particular that works. You're just trying to mimic the feedback you're putting around it in the form of this stringer. Get them on there to begin with. Again, depending on the type the length of the air that you want, you can use a bait stock, you could go for four, five, me myself, freeze enough. On we go, bit of clearance, nice gap there, but still going to do its job. Nice and simple. Happy days, nice simple presentation, all blends in. There's a nice mouthful of bait there. Anything that comes in the swim is going to start picking up bits and pieces and your up bait's going to get sucked in as well. Ideal. Now, to give yourself the extra edge, what we've got here, got tuna extract glug. I'm just going to use this to give that added bit of traction. Now, all the glugs, come with resealable top and you can take them home with you they're not going to leak anywhere in your luggage ideal beauty is with the cap size of this you can perfectly apply your up baits give them a good soaking in there look at that Absolutely perfect. Stinking. That's going to draw extra fish into the swim. Now if you take your time on a slightly less than full bottle, it means you can submerge the whole lot. What this will also do is it will slow down the breakdown time of your PVA string and ensure it gets down to the bottom in one piece. That way it's not breaking down that impact. Another way of doing this is to double up the string, loop it and have it through the boilies doubled up. That way it will also slow down the process. What carp's going to resist that?